Okay, our next topic is to add a file. That's it. Let's now go back here. Make sure turn editing is on. Now, how do we add a file here? Okay, so you can again click the add an activity or resource. So this time we'll use and look for the resources, look for the file, click on it, and click add. Now what file are you going to add as a resource? So for example, this is what is netiquette. You can put description, though this is not required. As you can see, once you see the asterisk in color red, that is required. So you cannot leave it blank. But the description, you can leave it blank. There's no need because you will be displaying or sharing a file. So for example, I have here a PDF file. What is netiquette? That's it. And let's see. On the appearance, you can, by default, the display settings is automatic. The best display option for the file type is selected automatically. But you can change this to, for example, embedded. If you want to embed the PDF file in this page, you can let students download it. So you can click force download, meaning once the, the link is clicked or the file is clicked, the file will be forced to download or the file will be downloaded um, with no other option. It is required. So if you require students to download a file, you can simply open it or in a pop-up. So I want to use in a pop-up so that um, students can still remain on the same page and they will not get lost. So my pop-up window lang siya or page. So try natin. So common settings, leave it as is. Okay, next, save and return to course. You can now see this link. So if we turn editing off, this is how the resource or file will be seen. Okay. okay, so once we click on the link, there is a pop-up window displaying the details of the PDF file. It can be in a form of presentation or simple uh, text-based PDF file. Okay. So that's one way of adding a file or simply if you turn editing on the fastest way to add a file is simply drag and drop and that's it so i included here a powerpoint but i don't usually uh, provide or add a file such as PowerPoint because I don't want students to download. Uh, I don't want them to download the file. I want them to see it and view it in, the, in their window itself. Because the downside of PowerPoint or Microsoft Word file, we don't know if the computer of the students have Microsoft Office installed. Okay, what if they're using uh, open office or LibreOffice, the freeware for as, or a substitute for Microsoft Office? So there can be um, a conflict or compatibility issue. So instead, um, I use PDF as a better way of um, providing materials for for my students for simply viewing the lesson 
and or PowerPoint. So if you have PowerPoint, I suggest that you convert it or save it as a PDF file. That's the best way so that there is no compatibility issue. So students can view your materials online in whichever browser or platform without requiring them to install any other programs. Okay, so to delete this, since I already have this PDF file, simply click edit and choose delete. Okay, that's it for now for adding a file.